let's get start a demo first of a chatbot with we have generated with open ai and here you can see this is a our web ui right and if you see in this right side over here we have some model providers you know and then language and that access and also dark mode and normal mode so these are flexibility also over there and also if you want to change your you know models for example if you want to change whatever model you want in your chat gpt so you can just change it as well so this way we build right so first let me see how is it, it's working so let me check for with this this model like chat gpt4 which is completely free so what i will ask okay what is dot net 9 new right so let me ask something for here and see now see uh when i ask this what is dot net new so they will give all that explanations with this this you know features like what are the new features and all everything is over there right so that is working fine right so which we build on in, in this session there is a two mechanism actually we can set up this you know open ai uh, source code in our local machine so using directly python and also we can use the docker so this session we will use that normal python uh, setup right and then let's get to start implementation so before implementation if you first time visit my channel so what i will uh, especially recommend to you go to my channel dot net real world example and here i also actually build this uh, open uh, chatbot in our blazor application with the api key but uh, this is required that api key right but here what we are trying to build over here they, we don't require any api key which is completely free right so that we will implement so let's get start implementation so what i can do at first we have to record that you know uh, open source which will provide that chat gpt so where is that uh, open source we can get it we can get it from here let's see this is that url don't worry about that i will just share this url to you this is a github link and here it is saying completely saying see this is a new chat gpt 3.5 or 4 with the chat bf ui no api api key required right so that means it is completely free and also it is providing you know like that this web ui which be shown right so like that also they actually giving some uh, options to set up over here like how we can just set up and all but don't worry about that this whatever instruction they gave in that is completely fine but here there's some issue which i found that also i will explain like how we can fix it because these are just you know they are mentioned that normal uh, mechanism but which is not completely working for every system so that i will tell you like how we can fix it those things so yeah also see there's a docker mechanism also using the docker also we can set up our own chat gpt in my local system so that also uh, that all are things we will do that over here so let's get a start first what i can do simply i will just uh, record this call clone right there is a two way if do you have any git uh, git desktop in your machine install so you can using that git clone right so like that for example for ex you uh, i just copy over here and go to my you know any project locations and let me create a new folder over here for example chat bot via open ai free right and then if i go to on inside this folder and just using any command line right open any you know uh, command prompt and in this command prompt if i check my git right so git version so it will just giving that git version over here like i have already installed our git but you don't have any git so there is a problem then you have to just install that git desktop first right so i'm not going to tell you like okay where is the git but just ask to our google uh, where is the you know git desktop and just install that once you install what i can do simply you can just tell this command uh, the, this uh, whatever copy from their url right and here you're asking this git clone and let me zoom in for you okay so this command you have to just mention git clone and whatever your url right and then hit enter and once you hit enter it will just try to 
you know download and store in our local right c whatever repository we have they actually download over here there is a one way actually using git git um, git desktop right and if you don't have a git desktop so what you can do simply there is an option of download zip code so you can just download and extract same things you can get it from here like this repository so once you get this repository open this repository over here right and once you open uh, you have to go to you know uh, this repository uh, folder right so there is a two way you can directly open over here and then open your command line but yeah as as they actually mention like so if you see actually they mention like okay once you clone then just use then cd command you know command line using the cd and go to that uh, here so i'll show you uh, like that way so once you got it over here right once you clone it then i'll just use this command copy this command right cd it's just nothing but go to that directory that's it right see now i am going to in this directory right so once you go to in directory let me cls right and see whatever the files and stuff over there i can see over there right so like that now let me oh you can just uh do whatever things uh command you can do over here but yeah i will just open our uh visual bs code so that could would be fine and see I, you also should be install your bs code so this is a lightweight version so you can use it your bs code once you open your bs code in this repository now you look like this whatever your files and options over here so these are completely actually there is a server for site and uh, coding and then there are gf force and then clients also the, we have that clients which is actually showing that ui right so those are things over there what i can do nothing we have to do over here uh, uh, as of now but yeah we have to do something because uh, it is not completely uh, uh, set up right so let me open as a terminal and in this terminal uh, let me choose in our command prompt right so use that command prompt right so once you use the command prompt now go back to your here and see what actually it's saying it is saying we have to install this guy so before install this guy actually you have to install in your system python so let me check it's python is installed or not version now see i have a python version which is 3.11 right but yeah for this repository actually required to run in ChatGPT is uh, this guy at least 3.10 or plus right so now uh, i have 3.11 but yeah if you don't have uh, you just installed and just upgrade your python version so this is first step now second step is once your python is installing done you have to just use this command and this command actually nothing but it is just install whatever requirement actually we required see we have a requirement txt file here whatever you know this repository is required so those are actually we have to add it in this you know requirement txt file it will just install in your uh, local repository so let me add it that pipe install and then requirement.txt file it will take some time if you first time so yeah so now see it is completely done right because all of things already i have installed so that's why it's uh, no complaining so once you're done you're installing done then go back to your repository here it is just saying okay let fire this command right so there is a one issue actually so once you fire this command see it is saying uh see this is a problem python was not found right why because sometime you know some machines actually uh, supported python 3 but in my machines actually support you know only python so you what you can do simply you can just change to python 3 to python python and then run dot py right so this is that command you have to take in care python and run py and where is that py see this is that file right so which which we are trying to execute over here so let me run now see it is completely running right and yeah that's because there's a uh, actually i already some uh, installation we have done previously which we are trying to face right but don't worry uh if you face any issue like that uh 
i'll show you actually what issue you will face so you will face uh, you know this issue so this issue you will face it over here right so if you trying to do first time definitely you will get this issue like okay no module found of this you know flash tax label right so if you get this issue so what you can do simply nothing you have to do you just add you know these these two packages right in these two packages inside this over here uh, in this requirement.txt file here go to down and inside that so here after you know end of this file what you can do you have to add this two package for this error right so let me show you see this two package actually be required so just add this two package and then you just have to uh, run or install your that command which command this command this this guy right python install requirement so this will actually install all that packages right which will require so along with this two package also so once you install so definitely you will get uh, this you know this running uh, running server right and let me copy this guy right whatever in both will be work so let me copy this guy and go to here and run it over here now see it is completely running also whatever we have done in previously that also actually maintaining over here so let me quickly remove that and also we can change it whatever model we want so for example i will change it to llm llam and here i'll just asking okay uh, please generate so now i'll just asking okay please generate the database for the school management system now see see it is just you know creating all the tables right or like that whatever data type and all everything is actually returning back to me so see now completely fine everything is working fine right so like this way actually you can just set up your own chat chat gpt like you know chatbot uh, build in your system right it's very easy using this you know open uh, api repository without no api key right and also it's not only this you can just you know deploy as well but yeah uh, it is just saying uh, for this guy see it is just warning like okay this is the development server right so don't need to uh, use it to production deployment use a production wsgi server instead right so it is just saying okay so don't use this as a production if you want to production so use that wsgi right so this is just a warning but yeah that is fine but like that actually you can just simply create your own chat gpt and with this all the models right which is a completely free so that's all for this session and don't forget to like subscribe and share